On January 27, 1945, the world changed forever. As the Allied forces entered Auschwitz, they stumbled on a haunting tableau of agony, a chilling testament to the depths humanity can sink. But within that grim history emerges the diary of Sergeant John Smith, a soldier who witnessed the unimaginable. This fragile thread to the past offers a unique perspective on one of humanity's darkest chapters, a story we can never forget. January 30th, 1933. Picture it, the day Adolf Hitler rose to power as Chancellor of Germany. As a young soldier, I witnessed the country's transformation under his rule, a time of fervent nationalism and radical change. Over the next six years, from 1933 to 1939, the Nazi Party, led by Hitler, implemented a series of policies that drastically reshaped our society. Political opposition was silenced, and various minority groups faced persecution. September 1st, 1939. Then came the turning point. September 1st, 1939. It was the day when Hitler's Germany invaded Poland, and it didn't take long for Britain and France to respond. This marked the start of World War II, a conflict that would soon engulf the globe. In 1941, our war expanded further as we invaded the Soviet Union, leading to a brutal and relentless struggle on the Eastern Front. July 20th, 1942, when the situation took an even darker turn, high-ranking Nazi officials gathered at the 1C conference to discuss the systematic implementation of the final solution to the Jewish question. This was the official launch of the Holocaust, a plan to annihilate European Jews on an unparalleled scale. Before the storm of World War II swept across Europe, Germany had already set up several concentration camps. These were places where they held Jews, political prisoners, and anyone deemed an enemy of the Nazi state. But what we witnessed then was just a forewarning of the harrowing events that would soon unfold. It was merely a glimpse into the darkness that would become the full, chilling picture. July 1st, 1942. The horizon blushes with the first light of dawn as I stand on the platform a solitary figure guarding the gates of Auschwitz. The approaching train brings with it a chorus of despair, a symphony of pleading voices that reverberates through the camp. Mothers clutch their children, their faces etched with fear. The selection process unfolds like a cruel theatre dictated by the whims of fate. This is the moment where destinies are sealed, where the path to unspeakable atrocities is decided. The air is heavy with the weight of impending darkness as the doors open revealing a sea of faces marked by terror and resignation. The platform transforms into a stage for the tragic separation of families, a haunting tableau of shattered lives. As the train retreats, carrying its cargo of broken souls, the echoes of their pleas linger, painting the dawn with the indelible brushstrokes of Auschwitz's harrowing history. September 10th, 1942. As the days unfold, I find myself drawn to the crematorium, a place where the air is thick with the pungent scent of burning flesh. The towering chimneys exhale a somber plume, staining the sky in a dance of sorrow. I'm just a guard, but this duty ties me to a machinery of death that leaves an indelible mark on my soul. The weight of complicity hangs heavy as the victims, faceless in their suffering, become embers in a relentless blaze. In Auschwitz, each step towards the crematorium feels like a reluctant march into a darkness that stains not just the sky, but my very being. November 15th, 1942. The routine of Auschwitz becomes a relentless rhythm, a relentless battle of survival. As I stand guard, the prisoners, shadows of humanity, line up for their meager rations. Watery soup and a crust of bread. The hunger in their eyes resonates like a silent plea, an accompaniment to the haunting symphony of despair that engulfs the camp. In the act of partaking in my modest meal, guilt gnaws at me like hunger. As a soldier, my uniform transforms into a cloak of complicity, woven into the cruel ballet of deprivation that defines Auschwitz. As the day progresses, the routine continues its heart-wrenching cadence. The dance of survival, set against the backdrop of barbed wire and watchtowers, plays out in agonizing repetition. I grapple with the paradox of being both a guardian and a participant in their suffering. The hunger, both physical and metaphysical, lingers in the air a palpable reminder that Auschwitz is not just a place of physical deprivation, but a stage where hunger for compassion is drowned out by the deafening silence of complicity. Before we move on, immerse yourself in the chilling dance of survival at Auschwitz, a soldier's sickening diary, 
reveals the relentless ballet of deprivation. How does the paradox of being both guardian and participant in their suffering resonate with you? Share below and subscribe to uncover the sickening truth of Auschwitz. Subscribe now. March 5th, 1943. Punishment in Auschwitz is an ever-present shadow, a spectre that haunts the daily roll call. The crack of a whip becomes the refrain, punctuating the monotony of the prisoner's endurance. The punishment block, a place of solitude and suffering, bears witness to the resilience and degradation of the human spirit. The faces of those condemned to solitary confinement are etched with defiance and despair. June 20th, 1943. The presence of women and children in Auschwitz shatters any illusion of humanity. The barracks, mere shells against the cruelty of this place, house the innocent alongside the guilty. Their laughter, once a melody of life, is now a silent scream in the night. I am a witness to the maternal instinct stripped away, the innocence lost in the relentless march of brutality. October 10th, 1943. The sun casts long shadows as the stage is meticulously prepared for a macabre spectacle. A hanging. A prisoner condemned to the gallows. The air becomes dense, pregnant with an oppressive weight that hangs over Auschwitz like a shroud. As the condemned takes his final steps towards the awaiting noose, the atmosphere is thick with a palpable sense of dread. The knot tightens, and life slips away in a grotesque ballet of death. The gallows, standing as a sinister monument, cast a chilling shadow over the camp. A constant reminder that the spectre of mortality whether by rope or gas, lurks in every corner of this accursed place. January 27, 1945. The air is charged with anticipation as the winds of liberation sweep through Auschwitz. The culmination of my journey through the heart of darkness is at hand. The innocent blood spilled, the unanswered cries, and the faces etched with despair form a haunting tableau that weighs heavily on my conscience. Auschwitz, a canvas painted in the darkest hues, stands as a testament to the depths of human cruelty. As the world witnesses liberation, may this chapter serve as a stark reminder, urging humanity to learn, evolve, and strive for a future where the echoes of such unspeakable atrocities are relegated to the annals of history. Let us be the architects of a world that rejects the darkness of Auschwitz and embraces the light of compassion and understanding. And so, in the sickening diary of Sergeant John Smith, a German camp soldier at Auschwitz. The chilling narrative urges us to reflect on the depths of human cruelty. What emotions did this account evoke in you? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and join us by subscribing to a community committed to remembrance and education. Let the sickening diary of Auschwitz guide us towards a future where compassion triumphs over darkness. Subscribe and join us in shaping a world that learns from the lessons of history. Thank you for being a witness to this poignant journey.